mean, I, like everyone in this room, I think Czech food is amazing. And there's, there's so many things in it that are pitch perfect and amazing. You talk about jargon, this is a thing, it's, I, it doesn't strike me as jargon, like everything seems sincere and seems authentic. Um, but my question is, related to that is one of the most interesting things to me is, is the, the frame of it being a vlog. Yeah. Which is yeah. fascinating to me that I yeah. explain to people, I'm like, well, it's a vlog about faking that is really a webcomic about. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 I think that was almost an accident because um, I just wanted B to be able to speak directly to us and kind of tell his story, but I didn't want it to be like these weird, nebulous, disconnected speech panel, like speech bubbles of just like, my first day at Samuel. And it'd be nice <laughs> if he was just talking to us. Um, and you, uh, I use it a lot now. It's like almost like a crutch. Of, uh, it's a good way to have Biddy talking about um, the theme of that particular episode or update, and, but not necessarily, he doesn't even need to be in the comic. Like, the last comic where I really used that, well, I used it twice, was when, um, uh, the, the, the spoilers, um, <laughs> but Jack is talking to his uh, GM, Georgia Martin, and he's like, I'm dating a guy from the team, and she's like, what? <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'm dating someone who's not on the Falcon <laughs> But that's kind of um, book ended by Biddy going like, well, you know, oh, that's my Biddy voice. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm Biddy going like, well, you know, like, this is how you, like, you know, it's hard to tell people, you know, about yourself, and how many guys up to you, take your time, and he, 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 it's like a bookmark, so he's setting it up, um, and then other times he's correctly speaking to the, like, camera, so I, I think I use it when necessary, because, you know, a lot, a lot of it is just fluff, where Biddy is just saying, like, oh, I burnt three muffins yesterday, and thank you guys for the comments, and that's Interesting. I, I don't think it's necessarily. Mm, well, no. It's it's always like more research or like drawing back the research that I did at the beginning because lifestyle of an athlete and the lifestyle of an NHL athlete is like such a particular thing. Um, and with Biddy's pies becoming more intense. <laughs> um, I, oh well, uh, an upcoming uh, comic. Biddy makes bread and he makes jam. I had to learn a lot about jam. <laughs> and like. There was this, I read this, there was this great website that was just a description of different types of like craft jams. And I just had to like, 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 like just consume it until I could just regurgitate like, yeah, it's zesty, but with a refreshing mouth feel. <laughs> That's how Vinny would describe his jams. Yeah. Another spoiler, he's gonna make jam for like the NHL, so. Yeah. <laughs> Dead hockey was such a game play. Yeah. <laughs> now I know about jams. To cooking of all kinds. Um, The amalgamation of like every Russian hockey player in the nation. <laughs> <laughs> People are like, well, clearly he's Alexander Ovechkin because his num Alexander Ovechkin's number is eight and Tater's is seven. But then people are like, no, he's of Getting Mulkin because of Getting Mulkin's number is 71 and Tater's number is seven. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that he's just, I think he's just a fun character. I, I like that. Um, especially with Alexander Ovechkin, who when he was younger, he was a bit of like a wild boy. I think it's a different approach from like the Canadian hockey player, like the like Northeast American hockey player. So I wanted to put that in the comic. Now it's become a bigger thing. Yeah. How much of this, how much of the comic is part of your daily life, and like how much time do you spend working on it? It's like all day, kind of, but it's different things. Like um, I write some days, I draw some other days. Like I um, talk, I do live streams every weekend, except for this weekend because I'm here. Um, and yeah, I would say, and then I'm, I'm writing and drawing like other projects, but when it comes to comics, that's pretty much what I do all day. So, which is cool. I'm happy. It might be cool. Yeah. 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 This is what I do full time. Yeah.
<laughs> do, you, do, you, do you do it all yourself now? Do you have any assistance? Or? Oh, I have a, one of my pals from SCAD helps me mm -hmm. flat the comics, mm -hmm. so he lays the colors down, and I like just kind of change the colors, make them um, fit the scheme that I was imagining in my head. Um, but and I had I had my friend's friend do lettering once, but he was a little weird. So <laughs> <laughs> no, he's great. Lettering friends of friends. Griffin, you're great. Yeah. <laughs> new frogs every yeah. year. How do you go about introducing new characters and making them feel so natural with like characters that are already established and have a rapport? It's hard. Um, and I, so uh, to answer that question, like one of the most recent characters is Ford, AKA Foxtrot. Um, and writing her, I actually, before I posted, like so an hour before, this is all good behind the scenes stuff, guys. So like an hour, like an hour or two before I posted the last comic where we see Ford, I had called one of my best friends who was, did theater managing, um, and I was just like, this character is so authentic. Like I need to, I need more jargon. I need more something to make to pack as much into the introduction as possible. Because one of the things I learned um, from screenwriting is when you're introducing a character, what they're wearing, what they're saying, especially like the literal first lines, has to be like like jam packed with as much um, character as you can. So I think that helps. Like we don't see a lot of the, like newer characters, even the frogs. We don't really see them that often. But like the first thing that I show like Chowder doing, even though he's a brand new character, is. He's saying a million things, um, and he's talking about how great Samuel is, and he's like, "I'm gonna be goalie," and that, and then you're like, "Okay, oh, that's this guy," and he's wearing a shark jersey. You're like, "Okay, he's down." Like, that's kind of how he is throughout the rest of the comic. So yeah. So before that, you have the entire, pretty much the entire layout done for um, all four years. Mm -hmm. So I just want to know, like. When did you have all of that done? When did you know that? Like, obviously, you know mm -hmm. how it ends. Yeah. Like, you're not so when did I figure out the story? Um, yeah. Yeah. Like, like the general frame of it. I just want to know when you really solidified how it was gonna end. Like, when in the comic? Okay. So, at what point in the comic did I solidify when how the, the main comic story? Um, I actually. I think probably three or four comics in, I just wrote down, it was literally like a grade, like um, year one, um, I put Biddy, like, so, oh, I'll do it this way so you guys can see like <laughs> that, like year one, year two, year three, year four, Biddy's storyline, Jack's storyline, everybody else's storyline. I just like wrote down words like, uh, Biddy a concussion, Jack not mean. <laughs> and then, like, and then you know, I knew that they were gonna hook up by uh, year two, so I just had that down. And then what happens in year three happens. So it's it's not much. It's like a, it's like one JPEG on my computer that I constantly go back to. Like, oh, what? How did you think this was gonna work? But yeah. So a few. Uh, it's and uh, something me and my friend Mad, whenever time we do a panel, we always how important it is to know the ending of your comic. Um, and I feel like there's a trend now, I don't know, I would recommend doing shorter comics, like make a comic for like three or four years, don't make a comic like that's gonna take 10 years of your life. So you can see, so you can see the ending. Will this end when Yeah, when Biddy graduates, graduates? Yeah, mm -hmm. then it's just gonna totally end. But will Biddy end? Uh, oh yeah, and yeah. Then... He'll wake up and he'll be like, it was just a dream. <laughs> <laughs> Like, Just saying. I, I, I don't think it's a spoiler too, but Biddy's probably gonna have a giant food empire. Yeah. <laughs> and then Jack, people will like walk up to Biddy and Jack in public places and they'll be like, oh my god, I can't believe you're here. And Jack will say like, oh, thanks, but they're actually not. Oh, Biddy, yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>